Now, if I had to guess, I would say I don't think the court is going to reverse, throw out that 1964 case. Uh, I don't think the votes are there to do it, but there's every reason to think that there are at least three votes to do it because three members of the court have already indicated that they're ready uh, to do just that. Now, you need four votes on the court, uh, nine members. You need four votes for the court to hear a case. We know there are three. You need five votes, five out of nine, to overturn uh, a prior opinion or to, to write any opinion. But in this case, it would be you need five votes to take it back, to say, in effect, we, we were wrong in 1964 in uh, what, what we did. So my view is that uh, uh, we ought to hope uh, and do what we can in terms of public opinion and in terms of thinking about things like this, in terms of talking with each other, it's just as a matter of public opinion mattering, because it does. It, these matters are never pure issues of law. The, the court is always interested. They're human beings on the court and what people think of it. What the people and what people think, in this case, about freedom itself. So uh, that's where we are, uh, as regards uh, uh, Amber Heard. Uh, she ought to uh, take a lesson or two in law. Uh, 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 I think she's just off base about this. Thanks a lot.